sorry. You were about to close when I came in, weren't you? It's no big deal. Besides, it's been a long time. What kind of a guy would I be if I didn't give you a warm welcome? Here you go. Thanks. So, um, are you an old friend of the Chiefs or something? That's right. But you probably came to see Genji, not me, am I right? Is he doing well? Well, pal, I wish I could tell you who he is. But I'm afraid he's gone back to the Limitless Fortress. The Chief is right. Gone on a recovery service job. You just missed each other. The Limitless Fortress. How far does this damn passage go on before something interesting happens? Someone's finally showed up, huh? Now then, what's gonna jump out at me? I wonder what's happening behind those six doors. <gasps> Shido! How did you get those wounds? No time to explain. I need a doctor. And I need one fast. Isn't that one of the enemy? And you're gonna help him? Haruki Emishi. An old acquaintance of mine who goes by the name Fresh Blood Joker. He used to be a member of the Bolt way back when. He's an enemy now, but before he was one of my own. Oh, Shido. <sighs> well, Negotiator, what are you going to do now? This place is dangerous. You might want to come along with me. You're right. I wonder if everyone else is okay. Who knows? I can tell you, Kazuki's busy fighting an enemy back there. An enemy? Jubei Kake. He's a former member of the Volts, too. He fights with flying needles. Kazuki would never lose against a former Volts member. He may not look tough, but he was one of the Four Kings for a reason, you know. It's not that simple. Before the Volts were formed, Jubei was second in command of Kazuki's gang, a group called Elegance. But he wasn't under Kazuki because he was somehow an inferior fighter. He chose that secondary position himself in order to protect Kazuki. To protect him? Kazuki and Jubei were close friends, since long before they came to the Limitless Fortress. But then, why on earth are they fighting each other now? Who knows? The point is... The Jubei I know is a man who would throw away his very life to protect his principles. Bastards like that are strong. I see your fighting edge has indulged since we last met. In the Fuchuan school threat technique, all of creation can be shaped into an attack. No one can escape the lash from a hundred of my threads. There's nowhere to run, Jubei. Run? <laughs> In the Kake school needle technique, there's no such word as retreat. But it looks like I'll never defeat you without using up my ultimate technique. The black needles? Kazuki, I never told anyone this, not even you. But in opposition to the white needles I've used up until now, there are black needles. The black needle technique is forbidden and secret. It is the ultimate technique. There are few who even know it exists. The Kake School needle technique originally evolved as a medicinal technique. So those black needles must be... Prepare yourself, Kazuki! Poison needles. It makes no difference how poisoned your needles are if you can't hit me with them. Is that so? Ah! Ow! I thought I dodged them all. The Kake School Needle Technique uses no drugs. We manipulate our needles to pierce acupuncture points with keen precision. It's a secret art that heals wounds, or conversely can destroy flesh utterly. Obviously, a heresy like applying poison would never be our ultimate technique. If they're not poison needles, then what could the black needles be? <laughs> So that's it. The Black Needles are... You finally figured it out, eh? The Black Needles are flying needles forged from the black magnetic ore dug out from beneath Holy Mount Fuji. I control their every move with the magnetism of this source stone. 
That's the secret, ultimate technique of my Kake School Needle Technique. The Black Magnet Controlled Needle Method. You're the one that has nowhere to run, Threadmaster Kazuki. <laughs> Balsam? I thought I knew the limits of Jubei's strength better than anyone, but... <sighs> They're reacting to the magnetism. <sighs> I get it. If a flesh and blood human being tries to control a magnetic force strong enough to cause a magnetic storm, he's going to suffer for it. It'll cause all his internal organs to go haywire, and in the worst case scenario... Oh, Jubei. Is that what you meant by using up your ultimate technique? <laughs> Whirling current! Why, Jubei? Why would you go that far for Makubex? Why would you drain away your very life for him? Kazuki! You ought to understand! Hurry up, sister! And to think this is his first time paying his respects to the head of the Fuchuan family. Really, what a hopeless child. Bye, mother! I'm going on up ahead! Ah! Oh. Who's there? State your name. Jubei. Jubei Kake. Oh, I see. You must be the heir to the Kake family. I'm sorry. I thought you were someone trying to sneak up on me. This means you're going to be my family doctor someday, doesn't it? Huh? It's nice to meet you, Jubei. I'm Kazuki. You're Kazuki? So you mean... You mean to tell me the heir of the great Fuchuan family is a girl? I'm a boy. Huh? In the head family, it's a rule that until you're 15, you have to wear a long sleeve kimono when you play the koto. Whether you're a boy or a girl. They say you have to if you want to master the thread technique. Oh, I get it now. <laughs> What is it, Kazuki? I got stung by a bug. Let me see. Ow! Good and bear it. Pain is all gone now. The Kake needle technique must really be something, huh? You bet it is. For 500 years, we of the Kake family have been protecting the Fuchuan family as their personal physicians. You sure have, haven't you? Thank you so much. You don't have to worry, Kazuki. I'll protect you, no matter what happens to you. That's what I was born to do. <laughs> Jubei, you're so old-fashioned. What's so funny? <laughs> Kazuki, run away! Quickly! No, Mother. I could never run away and leave the rest of you here. I can't leave you. It's to protect the school. But where, but where should I go? The Limitless Fortress. Mother. I'm sorry, Kazuki. Because the Kake family, because I wasn't strong enough, I couldn't completely protect you. Jubei. But I will. I will become strong. So I can protect what's important to me. How could you? You know, don't you? You know what Makabex is trying to build in there? He's building an atomic bomb! 
He could turn all of Tokyo into a mountain of rubble, let alone the Limitless Fortress. Of course I know. Then why don't you stop him? For the future that ought to be. The future that ought to be? That's right. Makubex is getting closer and closer to the mystery of the highest section of the Limitless Fortress, the place called Babylon City. <gasps> What are you looking at all the way up there? I'm just wondering what's up there. No one has ever seen Babylon City. I tried, but I wasn't able to make it. With my abilities, the belt line was as high as I could get. Why do something so crazy? Beats me. I guess I just thought there might be something up there worth seeing. Feels like we're being looked down on by something. We've just been abandoned by the Lightning Emperor. He's left us for good. And Kazuki and the others won't come back again either. Makobex. Well, it's true, isn't it? We've been left behind here in the Limitless Fortress. If that's the way it is, that's fine. Because the three of us have no choice but to make our home here. Oh, Makobex. Seijube. After all this time, I think I've finally gotten at the truth. The truth about this Limitless Fortress. Everything that happens in this place is being controlled by the people up in Babylon City. The very fact that we exist here is all just a part of whatever plan they're engineering. <sighs> I can't even imagine it. Why someone would do that to us, but still. There isn't a single freedom left to us here in the Limitless Fortress. But Jubei, that's impossible! If that's true, then what are you even doing here at all? Are you saying it's just coincidence? Ah. Not even a single side of the dice is free. If laughing and crying, if everyone's very lives and deaths are held in the palms of those monsters up in Babylon City, then how can we really say we're alive? Jubei. Kazuki! Are you sure you didn't know that? Are you sure that's not the reason you left me here alone? Jubei, I... <laughs> Father, what is Jubei Kake talking about? What did he mean before when he said everything that happens in this place is being controlled by Babylon City? Ren, none of this has anything to do with you. <laughs> but I... I'm telling you not to worry about it. <gasps> Grandfather. Hmm, does that mean Makabex knows? No, that can't be. Not even Makabex could... Excuse us. Sorry to bother you. We came here because Kazuki told us about you. Are you the pharmacist they call Gen? Yes, I am. All right, bring Emishi over here. It looks like you already know about our situation here. How is he? Mm, he's in critical condition, but Ren, preparations. Right. Oh, good. It looks like he'll be okay. Huh? What is this? Those are images Makovex is sending me. It's his little way of telling me he wants me to watch. Charming, huh? All right, old man. What are you trying to pull? Ren, for now, have him drink this. What? You want me to... Do it. Now. Ah! <sighs> 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 What are you thinking, you creepy pervert? I was just thinking how nice it would be to get my medicine with your little mouth to mouth! So all this time she was a girl? I think you meant to say that Emma She has made a complete recovery. Not quite. That's right, Jubei. Huh? huh? Here in the Limitless Fortress, no matter how much you accomplish, you're always haunted by a sense of emptiness and desolation. 
It's as though you're being manipulated by someone just out of sight. That's why I always aimed for the higher floors. I felt like the answer was there. I know about it, Jubei. Makabex is planning to use that atomic bomb to make a dangerous deal. Freedom or annihilation. The most reckless forbidden deal possible. With whoever those people are who build their nests high above us in Babylon City! Makubex predicted that in the end we would win our freedom from them, and I believe what he says. You're wrong! Uh, the deal will never go through, don't you see? Spear of rain! Scattered showers! Uh, ah! Black Eagles hate me! Mountain Echo! Why don't you get it, Jubei? This insane bargain will never work, and Makubex knows it! What? His real goal is to pass a final judgment. Makubex wants nothing less than to turn back the clock on the entire history of the Limitless Fortress and make it a blank slate. That can't be! Listen, if everything that happens here in Lower Town is controlled by the will of someone in Babylon City, then that someone is nothing less than a god. And God doesn't make deals. Because he knows that when all is said and done, he can return the world to nothingness. That's right. Just like the story in the book of Genesis in the Old Testament, when God sent a heavy flood and washed away the masses who incurred his wrath, there's someone in Babylon City who has that kind of power. Who can return everything back to zero. Just like resetting a video game. And there's no salvation from that. Noah's Ark doesn't exist here in the Limitless Fortress. A virus? Huh? I'm sorry about this, Makubex. I got it through a network connection somehow. You can just restart, you know. But if I do that, won't we lose all of our data? It's a shame, but there's nothing to do but give up. Once a system has been damaged, it can never completely go back to the way it used to be. Someone with a mind as brilliant as Makubex's could never fail to realize that. He knows everything. And still, he's... Quiet, you little fool! Why don't you understand, Jubei? He's probably about to use his final, greatest technique. Kake School Needle Technique Ultimate Ground Spider! <laughs> Dodging a swarm of flying needles with enough skill to avoid piercing your vital points. You're as talented as ever. You don't have to worry, Kazuki. I'll protect you, no matter what happens to you. That's what I was born to do. <laughs> Jubei, you're so old-fashioned. Can we no longer go back to those days? There's no way you have enough energy left to dodge this. I want... to save you. This fight ends now! <laughs> 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 Fear of rain. Missed. I'm afraid you lose, Jubei. Finish it. Finish me off, damn you. If you don't do it now, you'll live to regret it. Even now, it's still true. You really are still my closest friend, Jubei. Since back when we were kids. <sighs> you really haven't changed a bit. Still soft! Oh! Jubei! <sighs> Jubei! Why, Jubei? This is the best way. It's a fitting end for a foolish man like me. A foolish man who tried to take the life of a true and faithful friend because he couldn't keep <laughs> believing in him. Jubei! <laughs> Stop it now. There's no reason to shed tears over the passing of a man like me. Hold on. I'll get you to a doctor. Leave me, Kazuki. You've got more important things to worry about right now, don't you? I can't imagine anything more important to me right now than saving the life of my dearest friend. And besides... I believe in my heart that they'll stop Makubex. Yes, they will. Those two. The Getbackers. What's the matter with you? 
Tell me, Dr. Jackal, don't you like this place? I'm afraid not. I find the decor rather boring. If it's all right with you, I'd like to cut to the interesting part now. I see. Then how about this to kill a little boredom? What is this? It won't be too late to do it after you've seen this thing through, will it? This battle, I mean. It won't be, will it, Dr. Jackal? For you, the betrayer. Judas. <laughs> it won't be too late, will it, Dr. Jackal? It won't be too late to do it after you've seen this thing through, will it? This battle, I mean. For you, the betrayer, Judas. Judas? Is that who I am? Do you remember what Christ said as he hung there, brutally crucified on the hill of Golgotha? He cried out, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? But God knew. Without death there can be no resurrection. In other words, for Christ to become the true Son of God, Judas had to betray him. Judas fulfilled his role as an apostle by betraying Christ. Everything went according to the scenario God had prepared, you see. Your role in the scenario is just the same. You came all this way as the Judas who betrays the Recoverers and their team, all according to the plan created by the God of the Limitless Fortress, who looks down on his people and manipulates us. You're quite an interesting boy, you know that, Makubex? Hmm? What exactly is it you're trying to get from this? I'm trying to get proof. Proof of what? I want to prove that I'm living by my own free will, not because someone else allows me to. If I can't do that, then why live at all? <laughs> Whatever you say, it has nothing to do with me. Let's dispense with the long stories and begin our negotiations, shall we? All I want is to fulfill our contract as quickly as possible. I finished the job I took on from you, the one before my current recovery service job. You gave me one task, transport this small shipment of plutonium directly to you. Now, please take it. My next job is waiting. The job of taking back the ill from you and transporting it to my new client. I see. You truly are the Holy Betrayer, chosen by the God of the Limitless Fortress. Actually, you're wrong about that. I have never been a member of anyone's organization, my boy. So you see, it's impossible for me to be a betrayer. Now, take it and let's get things started. You seem like you'll give me a little fun before we're through. Are you surprised at this pairing? You've started to want to know how it turns out, haven't you? Maybe we should wait till their little battle is over. Am I right, Dr. Jekyll? Kyoji Kagami? There's no way she can win against a guy like Kagami. Don't worry about her. She may not look it. She's a professional transporter called Lady Poison. Some half-assed girly man is no match for Himiko. I'm afraid Ren is right about Kagami. He isn't from here. That man came down from the mystery-shrouded demon world above us. A place no one from Lower Town has seen. The part of the Limitless Fortress known only as Babylon City. Babylon City? What's the matter? Standing around like that won't make anything happen, you know? This man is strong. He reminds me of the first time I met Bon or Akabani. This bottomless threatening feeling is coming right off him. If I make one wrong move, I'll get cut in a second. Oh, now I get it. You're from the outside world, so you're just not used to being surrounded by all this darkness. There's no need to worry, Lady Poison. Morning will dawn soon enough. Morning will dawn soon? What do you mean by that? I mean, here comes the sun.
That's a pyramid from the ancient Mayan civilization. With a sacrificial altar on top. This is gonna be bad. If that guy really did come down from Babylon City, then even Lady Poison may not be able to handle him alone. Cheeto, wait! It's useless. You must try to understand what's happening. This is more than just a virtual reality. Right now, they might as well be in the middle of an ancient civilization. You could never get to her, no matter how hard you tried. But I've got to! There's nothing we can do but watch, just as we are now, and bear witness to the images transmitted to us. What? What is this place? Where the hell are we? An altar pyramid of the Mayan civilization. If the ancient Mayans enjoyed one thing, it was the performing of sacrificial rites. Machubex is reconstructing those rites using the power of the Limitless Fortress. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but I do know there's no place to run. Have you prepared yourself for battle, Lady Poison? I can't have you underestimating me, pal. There's a reason they gave me the name I have now. Lady Poison, the Witch of the Seven Perfumes. You are the one who's about to get sacrificed. Oh, don't mind me. I'm enjoying just watching you do your thing here. Are you finished now? Now, all you ghosts of the ancient Maya become drunk with excitement and bloodlust. Now that the introductions are done, let's begin this exquisite sacrificial rite. Diamond Dust. So, basically you're creating virtual images with diffuse reflection, huh? You can't beat me with petty trickery like this. <laughs> In the end, there's only one real you! Diamond dust is a substance composed of demonic shards. You do best not to think of it as mere bits of glass, my dear. So it's an invisible weapon that cuts you with the slightest touch, is it? You should take particular care not to inhale diamond dust. If you do, I'm afraid your lungs will be sliced to ribbons along with the rest of your internal organs. Though to be fair, I should warn you, even if you hold your breath, the dust will work its way in through your skin. You sure do go on. And I get the idea you're still underestimating me. Now be a good girl and let us sacrifice you. If you do, I promise your suffering will be much less. Yeah, right. Flame perfume! Where is he? Haphazard <laughs> attacks will do you no good. Ah! Oh! Death isn't suffering, Lady Poison. Just think of it as the start of a lovely journey. There's nothing to fear. Quite the opposite. It's a fitting and dramatic end, don't you agree? Atop an altar pyramid of the ancient Maya, having your head cut off by a priest. Ah. What's so dramatic about it, huh? Even after seeing the difference in our powers this clearly, you still have some fighting spirit left in you. Yes, indeed, it is fun watching you do your... What? This is one of the seven poison perfumes. Corrosion perfume. Illusions don't rot. So the one that stinks of decay must be the real you. You're telling me you think you can figure out which one is the real me by using your sense of smell? Get ready to eat those words, show off. The air around you is full of the sweet scent of poison perfume. If you inhale even one whiff, your lungs will rot, along with the rest of your internal organs. Though to be fair, I should warn you, even if you hold your breath, the poison will work its way in through your skin. You got one over on me, huh? But since my diamond dust is still swirling around in the air, you have to hold your breath just like I do. It's simply a matter of whose lungs give out first. I told you before, you shouldn't take my abilities lightly. To control poison perfumes, and to protect your own body from their effects, there are two skills you have to acquire. The first is a resistance to poisons, and the second is breath control. Breath control? I haven't inhaled any of the fragments of light you've scattered about. I'm on a training regimen of screening the air I breathe, so even inside a cloud of deadly poison gas, I can fight at the top of my game. So how about you, I wonder? What's wrong, mister? You look a little pale. Are you all right? You're exactly what one should expect from one of the last children. <laughs> How do you know that? Who the hell are you, mister? I must apologize for taking you so lightly, mustn't I?
Let's start over. No more playing around. I assure you this isn't trickery. Corrosion perfume! Ha! Did I get him? Nothing but a mirror! This would be checkmate, correct? Impossible. He's at least as fast as Akabani. Is this... Is this the true power of those who live in the Limitless Fortress? If you move, you die. <gasps> Besides, this is a sacrificial altar, remember? Beheading you is a job for the High Priest. <laughs> now, the rite begins. children you'll be cursed forever my my you're a surprisingly bad loser you know that ah. how about we get this show on the road all right priesty Get killed in a place like this. <gasps> Why am I suddenly thinking about bomb of all people? Even though he's my brother's killer, even though I've hated him for so long. Bon! Bon! Just a minute. Well, I hope you had a pleasant dream. Bon? Yo. You played me pretty well, Bon Mito. So is this where I say, nice to meet you? Aside from your behavior during the Jagon, I have to say it looks like you're not at all surprised to see me here. Wait a minute, what are you doing here anyway? I was walking along in pitch darkness when I started smelling your damn tracking perfume. So that whole time, we thought we were going through six different doors to six different rooms, but in reality, we were all being lured into one big room. Even so, I don't think it was part of the plan for you to break into our little reality here. Makubex was right to worry about you, Bonmito. I never expected to find myself on an ancient Mayan pyramid. So this is a VR constructed by Makubex, huh? A virtual reality? This? Don't get me wrong. This is no ordinary VR. It's almost as deep as my Jagon. That means even if my head did get cut off, I would have been fine. You can never know that for sure, kiddo. The human body is still controlled by the human mind, remember? If you got your head cut off in a VR this good, you might be going to the other world with a single blow. But how was Makabex able to create such a sophisticated virtual reality? I think I just figured out what's going on here. 
huh? It's all tied to the fact that here in the Limitless Fortress, Kinji can go from being a bumbling goofball to a raging lightning emperor at the drop of a hat. I think I finally get it. The secret of the Limitless Fortress. And the real intentions of this Makilex guy controls the ill we've been looking for. You're dangerous, aren't you? And so are you. What the hell are you hitting me like that for? Because you're acting like a show-off and stealing my spotlight! Come on, I'm telling you, this guy over here is someone you can never beat, Himiko! I'm a professional too, you know. You can't go around treating me like a kid forever. What is that stuff? It's my final weapon in a fight I'm gonna win. The seventh poison perfume. Here I go, Mr. Show-off. Really, my dear, I'm quite through with watching you do your thing. But if you say you must, you must. For almost all of her jobs, Himiko only uses the first six perfumes. The seventh one is her trump card, her secret move. She always saves it until the end. One reason is because she wants to save it for when she really needs it. But there's another reason. Don't interfere, Bond. I mean it. What is the meaning of this? She's fast! Her movement just now was at twice her normal speed. Maybe now is a good opportunity for me to watch you do your thing, Mr. Kyoji Kagami. Now I get it. That vial contains the poison perfume that was Yamato's specialty. That's right. This is the seventh poison perfume. Acceleration perfume. <sighs> if you breathe in a single whiff of this perfume, your speed will double. Breathe in another whiff? And your speed triples. This is fantastic, Himiko! With both of us against him, there's no way we can lose! Hold it, Bon! I told you not to interfere with me! You moron! You know the only thing that matters is the recovery of the ill. If you're a professional, then quit being so stubborn! Okay, fine. Let's go! Ah, sick fights! You're mine, pal! He's up there! Are you running away, you loser? Like you said, all that matters is the ill. In my case, I'm here to protect the implosion lens from you. In that sense, the role Mark Ubex assigned to me in this plan has already been fulfilled. Hmm? What's that supposed to mean? It means there's only one Jagon left, and that's all. second he disappears, we're back in the same room. Well, whatever. If we injured him that much, he probably won't be fighting anyone for a while. You fought pretty hard yourself, Himiko. Hey! Him uh. 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 Himiko! Why are you so cold? You're like a corpse. Hey! Himiko! Hey! The... the antidote perfume. Got it! Just give me a second, okay? Crying out loud, you... I thought it was something like this. No matter how you look at it, that speed was too much for you. If you'd inhaled that acceleration perfume one more time, you could have wound up dead, you know that? Yeah, I know it was dangerous. But if I didn't take the risk, I never would have been able to compete with a monster like Kagami. <laughs> you really haven't changed a bit, have you, Himiko? It's a part of you that'll always be reaching just a little too far. Where are you going? Bon? How's your body feel? If I rest a little, I'll be fine. Then I don't want you moving from this spot till you get your strength back. I'm going somewhere for a little bit. There you go. Oh, I'll get some sugar and cream for you. No thanks. This taste brings back the memories. 
So, um, did I hear you say you knew Mr. Genji? Yeah, ever since he was a kid. Really? That's amazing! I wish I could have seen Mr. Genji as a little boy. This is far enough away, don't you think, Fudo? I've waited a long time for this moment. The only thing that can stop the terrible aching inside me is to drink the blood right out of your veins. <laughs> is throbbing and aching inside me. This arm is throbbing, begging me to defeat you. Oh yeah? Well maybe I can ease that throbbing a bit by stopping your heart for you. <laughs> huh. Do you know what that is, Mido? It's my arm. The one you destroyed. Now it's nothing but a bunch of bones. And pretty soon, you'll be exactly the same way. <laughs> it's a shame, Fudo. That gadget sticking out of your left arm would decay that nicely after I kill you. You're the one who's gonna die. First I'll crush your arms and your legs and make it so you can't move. And then I'll take your life. But not just once. I'll give you the ultimate pain over and over. And over and over and over again. I won't let you off with just one death. Even if your heart stops, I'll make it beat again and then I'll make you die again. Until your body has experienced limitless pain and suffering, until the desire of the great Akuma Fudo is satisfied, over and over again, I'll make you scream out your dying agony for me! I can see it, Mido! I can see your next second right now! <laughs> this is fun, Mido! Now this is really how fighting is supposed to be! Be glad, Mido. I chose a battleground that suits us to a T. Come on, let's get this thing started. The real death match! So this time it's an ancient Roman Colosseum, huh? Krantz, look! Ah, uh, they're here. M Mr. Kazuki! Kazuki! We know the situation, Kazuki. Quick, bring him inside. Oh, right. Kazuki! I'm fine. Never mind me. Help Jubei. Kazuki? Hey, Kazuki! Ren, make the preparations. Hurry. Got it! What a stupid bastard. No matter how badly he wanted to settle things, he didn't have to go this far. Kazuki never would have wanted him to do such a thing. Do you think he's going to make it, Ken? Hmm. Is it hopeless? No, it's not hopeless. It's bad, but not hopeless. It's unbelievable. All of his vital points, from blood vessels to organs, were missed by a hair's breadth. Could this be the work of the god of the Limitless Fortress, too? Could even a death match as brutal as that one rest peacefully in Buddha's hands? How much do you know, Makovex? 
Just what is it you're really after? France! Huh? What is it? Look at this! <gasps> Where is that place located? Can you tell us, Rand? It's that place. This place. Huh? Mr. Genji! <gasps> Hi, Mr. Genji. Shoo. Is that you? What are you doing? Huh? Mr. Genji, let's play together, okay? Shoo. How can you... <laughs> what are you waiting for, Slowpoke? Come over here and play. Goru and Ruin and the rest of us are all waiting. <laughs> you... All of you? All of you are really here? Don't forget me. Play with us. Okay. Don't forget me. Don't forget me. Damn it! The feeling is coming back more and more. The Lightning Emperor, my other self, is filling my body. No, this is all just an illusion. Like that time when the images of me multiplied. What's wrong, Genji? Huh? <laughs> it's... it's you. It's you. It's you! <gasps> What's your name, boy? <gasps> Genji. Genji Amano. T... Tashimane. Takaru Tashimane. Ah! I got you! I feel him just now. Genji? <laughs> so you sensed your partner and now you're worried about him and can't fight well, huh? Your mind's really wandering, isn't it? Did you think I wouldn't notice? And now, of all times, when your body's broken like that... I'm right, aren't I? Your shoulder is messed up from that last little skirmish we had, and now your right hand's power is down by half. Quit worrying about other things and look at me, Lido. I've been longing for this moment for what feels like an eternity. The moment when I take my revenge on you for destroying my left arm! I can barely sense Genji, that bastard. Something happened, didn't it? Damn it. It'll be okay, Vaughn. You know why? Because we're the get-backers, that's why. So you really want to see me get serious, do you? Fudo? <laughs> well, you asked for it, so I guess I'll be nice and fight you for real. But do me a favor. Don't say I didn't warn you. Two seconds! It's been a long time, huh, Genji? Tashimine! Tashimine! Uh, no, wait. It can't really be you. Why would Mr. Tashimine be in a place like this? It makes no sense. Do you remember, Genji? Back when you were a little kid, I used to bring you here to play all the time. I'll never forget those first days after I met you. Day in, day out, all you did was cry and cry. You caused me a lot of trouble, you know that? But as time passed, you made friends. You got more and more cheerful. And before we knew it, we got so there was always a huge crowd of friends gathered around you, waiting to play. In a hellish place like this, the area around you was always filled with smiling faces. Around you, and around your friends. So tell me, why did you betray them? <gasps> when I took you in and raised you, Genji, I thought I taught you to follow one simple rule. Never betray your friends. Did you forget, Genji? I haven't betrayed my friends! 
Then why did you let them die? Shu and Goru, all of them. Mr. Genji! Mr. Genji! <laughs> You let them die again. You're wrong. This is just an illusion. None of them are real, and neither are you. All of them died a long time ago. They were all murdered by the ones from the mid floors. They died right in front of me. Everyone was murdered because of me. Everyone. When people die, do they disappear completely? <clears throat> they don't, do they, Kinji? Here in the Limitless Fortress, common sense doesn't apply. As a child of the Limitless Fortress, you should know that better than anyone. Somewhere inside you, you sense the truth. That Shu and the others who appeared before you just now... ...were in no way illusions. You're wrong! Why won't you admit it, Genji? You let your friends be killed right in front of you. You're wrong! You push those irreplaceable friends of yours straight off the edge and into the abyss. You're wrong! You abandoned them and left the Limitless Fortress all so you could make things easier on yourself. You're wrong! You sacrificed others so that you could survive. Everyone wants happiness. But only you would betray your friends to get it. You're wrong! You let them die. Everyone died because of you. You're wrong! You're wrong! You're wrong! Mr. Genji! Mr. Genji! You're wrong! 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 More lightning, Chief. It hit the Limitless Fortress again. You know what that lightning is, Natsumi? What? They've been called down, those Thunderbolts, by the Lightning Emperor's anger. Don't you think that's what it is? Maybe you're right. You said so yourself. Ginji's in the Limitless Fortress right now. Speed is impressive. If I didn't have this gadget, you might have had a chance at beating me, huh, Mido? I told you this arm suited my personality better, didn't I? If my enlightenment tells me how you'll move for the next two seconds, your speed doesn't matter. I'll skewer you easily with this. With your arm wounded, you can't use your snake bite anymore, can you? <laughs> That's mighty high talk coming from Makubex's dog. What Makubex does has nothing to do with me! As payment for this arm, I get my chance for revenge against you! That's a contract between me and him! <laughs> as long as I've got you, I don't need anything else. Come on, Nido. Stop it for me. Desire! Genji! Uh, that's crazy. Never mind me, the Jagon user. His lightning could never reach this far. Genji, don't tell me you're... Where are you looking, me, though? You should look at me. At me! Takuma Fudo! How... How could you, Mr. Tashimane? How could you say something like that to me? At this rate, soon I'll, I'll lose my old self completely. I'll get so I can't stop myself. Looking at you now, Genji, I can't help but remember the first time I saw you look so out of control. When your friends were killed, like insects right in front of you, little bastards from the mid floors. You were the one they were after from the beginning. We never knew why. Maybe there wasn't any reason at all. 
But that was when you awoke. Genji! Where are you, Genji? Genji! No! It was a split second. In just a split second, all 30 of those monsters from the mid floors were wiped out. It was the advent of the Lightning Emperor. I was shocked. I shouldn't have let you go. I should never have allowed you to run off like that and found a group like the Volts. I should have kept you under my thumb. You see, I was entranced by that extreme power of yours. And so, I raised you so I could have control over that power. So I could use your power as my own and become the ruler of the Limitless Fortress. You see, you were my tool. But then, right when your power was awakened, just like I planned, you teamed up with a bunch of punk brats and betrayed me, Kenji. That's... that's a lie! A lie! Mr. Tashimini isn't like that. Not at all. Mr. Tashimini is... Mr. Tashimini is... Of course it's not a lie. I must have had an ulterior motive. Why else would anyone choose to raise a good-for-nothing freak like you? You're a monster, pure and simple. That's why you were abandoned in the Limitless Fortress. A lie! That's a lie, Mr. Tsumine! A lie! That's right! Get angry! Hate Genji! Hate me! Anger strengthens and hate awakens! You are the tyrant of the Limitless Fortress! Genji Amano! The Lightning Emperor! The Lightning Emperor. Genji has turned back into the Lightning Emperor. This is bad. If that's the Lightning Emperor we know, then we're already too late. When Mr. Genji gets like that, nobody can stop him. You're wrong. You're wrong! The Gen I've always known is an idiot. And a sap. And a scatterbrain. But he's kinder than anyone else on Earth. The Gen you're talking about isn't him. That Gen isn't anything like the one I know. Old man, I'll leave the rest to you. Shido, did you forget how powerful he is? He's the Lightning Emperor! There's no way any of us could ever stop Kiji him. Kiji could never sit back and allow a friend of his to get hurt. He's not afraid to put himself in harm's way, and he won't stand for anything that's wrong. He was that way then, and he's that way now. He hasn't changed a bit. That's one of the things I always liked about him, and always will. So I'm going. That's all. What's going on here? Everyone's being so cool. I'm just a simple-minded guy, so I can't even begin to imagine it. What might be going on in that endless labyrinth up there? But maybe you can help clue me in, old friend. The Limitless Fortress is a world of fear. Fear and carnage and nothing else. Given that, I wonder why people are so drawn to it. That place doesn't suit Genji at all. Oh, yes, Genji. That's excellent. That's the real Genji right there. Three seconds! Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized something, Mido. This is the first time I've seen you look so pathetic. I botched it. I had no idea he'd gotten so strong. I can see your next three seconds so clearly I could reach out and touch them. And when my enlightenment sees you turn completely from flesh to bone, that means death is about to claim you. Hey, Mido, is that all the power you have? So it is, huh? Why don't you show me some more? More of that speed you hit me with before. If you don't, my desire won't be satisfied. More. Give me more. Give me more. 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 Give me more! Bleed, Mido! Until my desire is satisfied, close in on me! Right up to the brink of death, Mido! Damn. I can't concentrate with all this pain. Hey, 
What do you think of that, old lady? A 200 kilogram force grip. I see. You may be a good for nothing, and when it comes to fighting, you might be a genius, but. Uh, how's that? I can barely muster enough strength to crack an egg anymore, but if I have the serpent bearer's power, I can do this. Remember this, Pan. Nothing in this world is unconnected to the movement of the stars in the sky. Therefore, invoke the constellation of your fate when you have something you truly desire. Something you don't want to lose. Damn. I went and remembered something I didn't want to. And now I'll crush that disgusting right hand of yours for you. It's about time you tasted a bit of my pain, Mido! Ugh. The lightning must have shorted out the VR! Ah, Kinji, you've changed, haven't you? Uh, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here! I can see it, I can see it, I can see it, I can see it! See you dying, Mido! Covered in blood! Even now with thy right hand until this cursed fate is spent, is the one who houses a 